her final farewell. Wow, what an honor it is to be standing here. I think the first word that comes to mind when I think of everything this year has brought me is gratitude. Gratitude for the best friends I met in my Miss Mississippi's outstanding team classes and for my Miss America class. Gratitude for a board who helped me become my best self for MAO team. Gratitude for the life-changing scholarships that this organization brings. This time last year, the trajectory of my life changed with this crown. Having received almost $10,000 of scholarship money from the Miss Mississippi Corporation, $1,500 from the Miss America's Outstanding Teen Scholarship Competition, as well as the Presidential Scholarship to the University of Alabama, I was able to attend school this year completely debt-free. What a blessing. Being a part of the MAO teen family immediately gave me a community when I got to college, as there are many girls who attend Bama that you attend your Miss America's Outstanding Teen Week with. I have no doubt that without the skills gained through these past years and the immediate credibility that this title gave me, I wouldn't have been named Freshman of the Year at the University of Alabama this year, as well as a capstone woman working as an ambassador for the university. I'd like to thank a few of the wonderful people who have helped me over the past few years. Mr. Winky and Miss Debbie, thank you for being the best mentors and director over this past year. Mr. Winky, seeing your daily devotional in my email inbox every day always made me feel so loved. Your entire family has made me feel so special and cared for. Mrs. Jan and Mr. David Blackledge, thank you for pouring so much into this organization and for being wonderful leaders of the Miss Mississippi Corporation. Mr. and Mrs. Edris, thank you for always putting a smile on my face and being so supportive throughout my five years of being a part of this program. I couldn't have done it without you. Mrs. Jennifer Tillotson, Mrs. Nancy Roberts, and Mrs. Brumfield. Thank you for putting on this spectacular show and for all of your hard work behind the scenes. Your gracious smiles through these past few years have made such an impact and always would calm my nerves. And Miss Amy, thank you so much for helping me get dressed this week. Miss Mississippi Corporation Board and Volunteers, thank you for being the hands and feet of this organization and supporting me throughout this year. Some of you even flew all the way to Orlando to support me at Miss America's Outstanding Team. That meant more to me than you'll ever know. Thank you to all of the local directors who shaped my interview, made me so much more confident and believed in me, particularly Amber Cornelius, Ben and Leah Buchanan, and Linda Now. You all helped me so much. Mrs. Jennifer Pierce, Mrs. Kim Knight, and Mrs. Ashley Thompson. Thank you for helping me with every tedious question I had over my year, particularly Mrs. Ashley, who worked tirelessly looking over my paperwork to make sure it was perfect. I appreciate everything you've done for me. Miss Mississippi 2019 and 2020, Mary Margaret Heyer, thank you for being an awesome mentor and friend for the short time we had together. I'm so excited to watch you become Mrs. Moore in just a few months. Miss Mississippi 2021, Holly Brand, as many of you know, Holly and I have been friends since we were eight. To have her as my Miss this year was so special, and I wouldn't have traded our time together for anything. She's been a role model for me since I was eight but especially watching her in the role of Miss Mississippi has been meaningful. I love you, Holly. Jane Granberry, Miss Mississippi's Outstanding Teen 2019 and 2020. Thank you for giving me some incredible advice for my year as Miss Mississippi's Outstanding Teen. To see you do such awesome things after the crown has been inspiring and I'm thankful for you and proud of you. To the incredible friends I made at Miss America's Outstanding Team, particularly Ruby Tillman, Florida, Jalen Barron, Pennsylvania, Marcel LeBlanc, Alabama, and then Miss America's Outstanding Team, and Shelby Cook, Arkansas. Thank you for making MAO Teen Week the most fun week ever and for sticking with me in the time after. To Pam, Holly, Nana, and Bob, thank you for being my second family. I can't put into words how much you all mean to me. Bop, thank you for driving me all these years in the parades. I love y'all so much. You'll forever be my princess, Hollywood. You're the sister I never had, and I love watching you blossom into the most amazing young woman. Mackie Bradford, my miss before winning the state title. You've been a constant in my life ever since I met you in 2017. Thank you for everything. I love you. To Mr. Kimball and Mr. Buzz, thank you for helping with all things to do with sound throughout the years and this speech. You both are so wonderful. To Mrs. Tammy at Mia Bella Prom, I would be lost without you. I could sing your praises all day long. 
Not only have you kept me dressed to the nines, but you have been the most loving and kind and encouraging bunch. I'm so thankful for you. To all of my wonderful sponsors, this year wouldn't have been possible without you. Thank you for your support of this wonderful organization. To Mrs. Susan McCarty, without all your pictures, I wouldn't have anything to look back to when I dream of this weekend. You are so loved and I'm thankful for all the memories I'm able to look back on thanks to you. To Mr. Ben and Mrs. Leah, thank you for all of your love and wisdom and my journey in this organization. You adopted me as one of your own and I'm forever grateful for you both. And my girl, Kale. To Miss Monona Costello, thank you for taking a timid seven-year-old Tori and helping her blossom into a girl who loves to perform. You mean so much to me and I love you. To Hannah, Miss Florida's Outstanding Teen 2019 and 2020, and Haley Adams, Miss Alabama's Outstanding Teen 2022. Not many people get to say that they have such accomplished best friends as I do. Hannah and I met at MAO Teen this year, and we're so excited when we went the same sorority at Alabama. Since then, we've practically been attached to the hip. She's my other half. I can't wait to watch you compete at Miss Alabama this summer, and I love you so much. Through Hannah, I met Haley, her little sister, who shortly after we met was crowned Miss Alabama's Outstanding Teen. I can't wait to watch you crush it at MAO Teen this year. You're a rock star, and I'm lucky to know and love you. To my friends at the Mustard Seed in Hopalo, thank you for being my inspiration. You are the reason I established Shining the Light on Special Needs, and I can just burst with love because of how much you mean to me. To my Grammy and Papa, Big, Aunt Christy, Uncle Bill, my Gigi and Papa Roy, you are the best cheerleaders and prayer warriors. You've never missed a performance or event of mine, and I always can hear your loud cheers from the audience. You've believed in me ever since I made my debut performance at New Stage Theater at only six years old. I love you all, and I'm blessed to have the most incredible and encouraging family. To my late Cece, I miss you so much, and I wish that you could have been here this year to see your only granddaughter finally achieve the goal she had been working towards for so long. Until she passed, Cece never missed a performance of mine. I hope I'm making you proud. I love you, Cece. To my mom, my dad, and my brother Jake, thank you for being my rocks this year. Every mock interview question, last minute errand, and prayer before our performance didn't go unnoticed. I couldn't have done any of this without the three of you. Jake and Dad, thank you for drilling political news into my head for the past three years to prepare me for any question that could have been thrown my way. But to Mom, you haven't missed a moment. You've done so much for me over the past five years. Even behind the scenes, you're always finding ways to make my days brighter and my life easier. You are such a blessing in my life. I love you, Mom. To the lovely lady that I have the honor of crowning today, Get ready for a whirlwind of activity in the months leading up to Miss America's Outstanding Teen. In my opinion, even though these months are so busy, they are the best months of your whole year. Your life is about to change in the best of ways. Soak up every second of this year. Speaking from experience, it flew by, so get excited. To my Lord and Savior, thank you for blessing me with these people and the opportunity that you timed so perfectly. Thank you for being a perfect Savior. As 1 Timothy 1.17 reads, all honor and glory to God forever and ever. He is the eternal King, the unseen one who never dies. He alone is God. Amen. For the last time, I am your Miss Mississippi's Outstanding Team 2021, Tori Johnston. Would you please welcome Tori's family to the stage? Thank you, Tori, for your service and commitment to the Miss Mississippi's Outstanding Teen Organization. One final time, Tori Johnston, Miss Mississippi's Outstanding Teen. <laughs>